Have you mastered death? Have you mastered pain? Have you mastered pleasure? Have you mastered the death rebirth portal? (laughs) I certainly have not. But I am on a death rebirth portal right now. You could say it began many years ago. But a key pivot point was in October 2019. I flew from Hawaii to New York, had a minor stroke, left side of my body became slightly paralyzed, went to the ER, they discovered a massive tumor on the right side of my head uh, called glioblastoma or stage four brain cancer. So that was October 2019. And since then, it's been literally every moment, every single day, pain in my head. Um, The camera's flipped, but this is the right side of my head. So yeah, every moment there's pain there pain in different parts of the body. There was pain from the brain surgery. I had to recover from that. That's a certain type of pain. I did radiation and chemo. That's a different type of pain in the head and the whole body. Um, Started to have grand mal seizures, which I've never had in my whole life. Head infection formed. I needed another head surgery to clean out the the head infection. After the head surgery, the the infection came back stronger than ever. And then this time, I I put it off for so long. Extreme pain, literally blood and pus coming out of my head from the infection. But I didn't want to do another head surgery, which would have been my third and fourth. But the infection was so painful. One night, I just, my intuition told me I need the surgery as soon as possible. So I went to the emergency room, they scheduled the surgery. And I had the surgery to cut out the infected skull. I was on six weeks of antibiotics intravenously. And while in the hospital, the tumor regrew. So (laughs) that was a very interesting experience because they couldn't do head surgery to put the new section of skull back on because of the new tumor growth and the fact that they just did head surgery. And the, the skin flap, This is abdominal tissue they transplanted to my head. It's starting to do really well. Like, it's taking well. It could have died and not um, had a good experience. But So all those factors made it so that they could not do the head surgery to put in a new plate. Um, the, The doctor literally told me that there's no hope, there's no cure possible in my situation for the tumor, and there's nothing he can do. But... I got out of the hospital and instead of going to hospice care, stayed with family and I've been quite literally fighting for my life with a smile in my heart and face, doing every frequency medicine possible, every detoxification method that I can do safely. So I, I, I cleansed out, oh well in the hospital I did a higher dose of chemo because I couldn't do surgery, couldn't do radiation, they weren't going to let me do holistic practices and detoxification in the hospital. So for better or worse, I decided to do the higher dose of chemo for five days. After I got out of the hospital, I had to (laughs) detox that out of my system and kind of like re-experience the chemo again as it was coming out of the body. I had red dots everywhere. So point being, I am definitely on a death rebirth portal. This didn't just start today, it didn't start yesterday. And I have a burst of enthusiasm sharing this with you. This has been constant. Like, it's not like one big death, one big rebirth. This is every day, all day. The pain now, and then where there's a little bit more energy, giving love to other people, assisting other people, so and including myself. So it's constantly back and forth. The pain, the surrender, sometimes the past 16 months literally crying on the floor in pain and then just getting up, dusting the dirt off of my energetic shoulder and continuing with the practices, facing death many times, having to decide in that moment, do I fight for my life, call on all my resources and angels, or is it my time to leave this form? And every single time, I know it's kind of cliche, but I just came to presence. And then listening to my intuition, what's the next step? 
So that's been part of my experience for the past 16 months. And I am energetically inviting you to join me in this process. I'm kind of stuck in it, you could say. I mean, my soul and God chose to have this experience very clearly. That's the feeling I get from the beginning. It wasn't a surprise. It wasn't uh, uh, like, oh, poor me. It was like, no, this is actually what my soul wants. And this is leading to the highest possible manifestation of my soul's purpose for my benefit and for the benefit of other people. So I'm doing my best to create I want to create my own platform, you could say, but because of the pain and other certain limitations, I haven't been able to. But now as I'm starting to feel more strength each day and more energy, even though there's so much pain still and challenges, physical limitations, um, I'm creating more and I want to support you and others, even, even if we don't speak, just know that I'm going through a death rebirth portal and I'm using this and transmuting the energy for something positive. And there will be things that I'm creating as well to help others and to help you go through your own death rebirth portal. Even if you're not in the same situation as I am with the brain cancer and other challenges, you might be going through something very similar, but in your own way. So my prayer is to fully heal. I am fully healed right now and I'm just letting the body catch up and also to assist others as we collectively raise the frequency, let go of the fear, and cultivate optimum health on all levels. So that's all I wanna share right now. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey and wishing you the best wherever you are, and I look forward to sharing more.